axolotl, the unusual Mexican walking fish. Among the wonderful Mexican fauna, one of the most famous and appreciated species in Mexico is the axolotl. Due to its unusual physical appearance, which is striking and really adorable. Many people have been captivated by this species, which they have called Mexican walking fish, and have wanted to have it in their home aquariums. The axolotl is one of the rarest animals in the world, and unfortunately is in danger of extinction. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the ever popular axolotl. Before we dive in, be sure to smash that like button. Okay, so let's begin. Scientific name. Its scientific name is Ambistromo mexicamum. The axolotl's name comes from the Nahuatl word Xolotl, which was the name of the Aztec god of death and destruction, which, according to Aztec mythology, he became an axolotl to escape from his enemies. This fish is also known as a Mexican walking fish, although it is actually an amphibian. Origin and habitat. This creature is native to the lakes of Suichilmelco in New Mexico City. Its evolutionary origin dates back more than 400 years. Currently, due to factors such as urbanization of the area and water pollution, it is impossible to find them in their natural habitat. It is considered an endangered species by the Mexican government, since they estimate that only 700 to 1,200 specimens exist. Physical Characteristics Size They can reach a size of 12 inches, while some have reached 18 inches in length, depending on their habitat. They have a long and thin body and weigh around 2 to 8 ounces. There have been some recorded at 12 ounces. Appearance Physically, they are described as tadpoles one step away from becoming salamanders. This aspect is because although they become adults, they never stop being a tadpole completely. The axolotl's skin is smooth and covered by a kind of protective mucus. Its head is wide, its eyes are round, small and black that do not have eyelids. Its legs are short and its tail is shaped like a fin that helps it swim. It has six external gills behind its head with which it breathes. It can also breathe through its lungs by its skin and through its mouth. They have a cartilaginous skeleton and muscles like fish. In addition, they have teeth and a jaw powerful enough to hold their prey tightly. Color, usually sand colored or browns with darker spots and dark purple gills, rarely white or albino. Lifespan, it is between 10 and 12 years, but in captivity can live up to 15 years. Axolotl's behavior. Axolotls can go out and walk on the land but they prefer to lurk at the bottom of lakes or rivers. Even though they have lungs, they do not use them to breathe. They have a quiet personality most of the time. They remain almost inactive during the day and sporadically come to the surface of the water to breathe, except at lunchtime where they become a little more aggressive with their prey. The axolotls communicate with each other through chemical and visual signals. This happens much more frequently in the mating period where they also communicate through pheromones. Regeneration Capacity Axolotls have an excellent capacity for regeneration. They can regenerate their legs, tail, and even organs, such as kidney, heart, or lungs, achieving complete functionality in approximately two months. Some scientists are researching the DNA of the axolotl to get clues about their regeneration to help the studies of human tissue regeneration. Food they are carnivorous animals, usually eating mollusks, small fish, worms, mosquito larvae, and even in some cases can eat some axolotls that are smaller than them, even if it is an adult. Inside the aquarium, you can give them high quality granules that provide the nutrients they need in addition to small strips of meat and fish. Their food must be adequate size so they can digest it whole. Bear in mind that these animals have very small teeth which make chewing a little difficult in some cases. Breeding. This is the only animal that has the ability to reproduce in its larva state. They are sexually mature after six months, most reaching puberty in the first year of life. The reproduction period starts from January to March. It only happens once a year, and the water temperature level has a great influence on this process. 
Courtship begins when the male and female get close together. Then they begin to move in a circular way. And at one point, the male moves away a little and is chased by the female. Then the male will deposit a protein capsule containing a mass of spermatozoa transferred during mating. This process is called spermatophore. On some stone or aquatic vegetation, and the female will collect them to be fertilized afterward. Once the female has fertilized, she will be able to lay eggs by group in the next 24 to 48 hours. The axolotl females can lay between 300 and 1,000 eggs. The hatchlings are born between 10 and 14 days later. Aquarium Conditions There are some aspects to take into account in order to have a quality aquarium for an axolotl so that it can live in optimal conditions. They are cold water animals, therefore they can get stressed with high temperatures. The aquarium should be large, as the axolotl is about 12 inches, though some have gotten as big as 18 inches and can weigh as much as 12 ounces. They need an aquarium of about 10 to 15 gallons so that they can swim comfortably. Also, be sure to place a lid on the tank. Axolotls have been known to jump out of their aquarium from time to time. The temperature should be between 60 and 65 Fahrenheit or 15 to 18 degrees Celsius with multiple hiding places and preferably with live silver. And never let the temperature go over 71 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. For newborn babies, the appropriate water temperature should be between 64 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. And it is recommended that it does not exceed 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. Try to keep the water temperature at a steady and stable range. Fluctuating temperatures can cause stress on the axolotl and make them prone to stress and infections. Lighting should be dim and cold since they are nocturnal animals. Bright light could stress them and it is necessary to keep the water at the right temperature. A good filter is essential to preserve the quality of the water and an air pump to maintain the right amount of oxygen so that the axolotls can breathe comfortably with their gills. Tank Mate It is difficult to find an aquarium partner for an axolotl. In order to put them in an aquarium with other fish, some requirements must be met, such as not putting small axolotls with adult axolotls since the large ones could eat the small ones. Larger fish can also nibble at their gills and injure them by mistaking them for food. For this reason, you can have several axolotls as long as you have space proportional to the amount you want in your aquarium. For example, if you have an axolotl, I recommend a minimum of 15 gallons of water. For two, you need about a 29 gallon tank. This will ensure that each one will have ample space to move around. Fun facts about axolotls. Its name comes from the Nahuatl word axolotl, which means water monster. This amphibian has been the inspiration for pre-Hispanic legends. Also, for a story by the famous novelist Julio Cortazar and works by Roger Barda. The creators of Pokemon were inspired by this animal to create an aquatic creature called Wooper. The axolotl is guided by smell to find food. Their ability to regenerate is so incredible that they can repair their spinal cord when it is injured and make it function as if it was not damaged. In the time of the Aztecs, they were considered the reincarnation of the god Shalak. There is a music group called Axlotl Mexicanos thanks to this fish that the brand liked very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and I will see you in the next video.